guys so i was waiting for a while for this part of supply from ebay from china and finally arrived and i chose the model with adjustable voltage that's pretty cool it also has a amperage gauge meter so had to pay a little extra but it's totally worth it to me because it shows me the load amps how many amps it consumes what i got here so i've had this for a while and this just a little bit earlier was the copper color and now it's all black oh wow okay i guess just uh burn in anyhow um what I was saying is that uh, I've had this induction heater, 1000 watt induction heater for a while and because I wanted to see if I can use it to make a annealer for brass cartridges and what I was lacking is, is a good power supply. So I got this uh, 48 volt 10 amp power supply but it actually goes up to 51.7 and draws a little more than 10 amps so I'm happy about that a little extra now what I really wanted was uh, a thousand watt power supply and that's with the 20 amp rating and I wish I got that because it seems like uh, 500 watt power supply is um, it's a little over 500 it's just Seems to be not enough, but um, I'll show you what's capable of. I rigged up some quick connectors and in instructions for this induction um, board, circuit board, it says to not to connect the power with this plugged in, meaning there's a, it could it could burn out there's a long explanation but I won't go into details so with this on and I'm gonna reposition the camera and see uh, if we can get some action okay so I'm gonna connect the power and what amazes me is how much power it draws in idle 8.8 .8 more i saw like up to 10 amps so this thing as you can imagine gets heated up pretty pretty crazy um so i got a bolt here wow i can feel wow i can feel the heat already uh here's a a little uh, screw I'm holding with my pliers and you can see it gets hot pretty quickly although and I'm pulling 11.3 ounces right now uh, um, amps and and then the voltage or the amperage goes down okay now let's try um, here's a piece of brass see what we get it's been dunked in the water before so it's uh, the wires glowing you can see off the camera and let me put it in yeah that's how much power I'm drawing and beginning to stink oh, let's get this tripod ah come on okay sorry guys the camera is misbehaving So, okay, iron, 
induction of iron and induction of brass are different okay so you can see I don't know if you saw but it was glowing the tip of the brass was glowing now for a true induction I would need something quicker than this but um, what I'm gonna try to do is actually get a different coil I got the um, that thing creates so much like heat it's crazy I'll have to unplug it I don't know how it's gonna survive in a long run I kinda suspect that it it might burn out I'm gonna add a fan because I've seen these new models that have a fan on it um, that helps it cool it down uh, if I run at lower voltage it, uh, it doesn't consume as much amperage when it's in idle mode so yeah I wish nice I had a my thermometer but holding heat like this it feels like I got a a house heater going it's it's really hot so my plan of course is to uh, run a liquid cooling system through the tubes here and there I already bought a pump this little guy is gonna circulate the water and I'm probably not even gonna use radiator but put like a bucket with some ice on it and just circulate it let's uh, try something else guys let's see if we can melt some bullet maybe not 30 caliber maybe a 22 for starters okay so what I got here is a 22 caliber 55 grain bullet and let's go with 48 volts okay drawing 8.3 amps well I guess that doesn't really make a big difference so I'm gonna crank it up oh wow <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> that didn't take a long time. <laughs> okay. Well, let's try melting Teddy caliber bullet then. Okay, guys, I think my... Uh, I think my circuit board is beginning to melt. So... Oops, missed it. Yeah, definitely can melt. But I better unplug it. Oh, man. Holy cow. Look 